Tudo sabe. Did you record that? Y'all didn't want to be on this morning, so come on. Why did I change your mind or do? I don't, I don't be playing the whole mind thing. Y'all be tripping. I don't be tripping. Gina does. Oh, now it's Gina. Gina be tripping too. She said, I don't want to be on daddy's show, and I can't feel that for So I'm not working. She knows you are baby. Did you, did you, did you type that in? Yeah, I just typed it in. It's on the screen right there, see? Let me see. up on the screen. Oh, there's some names. And your main names, that's me. This is us. You know, people be expecting me early in the morning. Except on them. I tell them they got to catch me when they catch me on the weekends. What's up, fam? I don't know who's there, but this is Brother Hot Tim. We about through this morning toast. I got the Miss Sasha Mosh, who told me she didn't want to be on the show. But all of a sudden, when they go live, she want to come out. Go figure, right? All right, so we're going to be sipping on that Evian water. Y'all need you to be quiet, baby. I'm gonna be sipping on that Avion. Uh, for those who don't know about that Ambrosia, we got the flavors for this cycle. We got ginseng. This is the powder ginseng. This is not from the actual ginseng root. This is the original. Ginseng is the silver top. We got the original. All right. I got the Giamme on it. I just want to, yeah, check that out. Look at that. Ooh. All right. We got the lemon lime, also known as lemon lime and ginger, also known as the Justice League. And we got the tart cherry. Very, very tart, my friend. Yes, it is. So let me go and move them off. Oh, you showing the book? Yes. Yeah, Miss Sasha Marsh is doing her thing. She's showing the book. I thought this was my show. Oh, you do the morning toast. I do the daily toast. I got to do mine, but I'm going to let you do yours. Sasha going to have a show called The Daily Toast. I don't know what she going to do, but we going to let the babies go on and explore. That'll be airing on YouTube. I see people coming in and coming and out. This is going to be my questions. That's going to be your questions? All right. Bring them out. Bring them out. I don't have bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out, bring them out. Bring them out. Thank you. You said you ain't got a cup. No. All right, let me get you a cup. Move. I'm going to sit on the chair. Hold on, hold on. I need you to calm down. Okay. So, Shasha Daily Morning Toast. Yeah. You know who it is. Shut it off. Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Bring them out. So, good morning, y'all. We're trying to do a day because and my dad is helping me get on me a cup. Come on, Daddy. Shall I leave you? All right, Mom. Okay. I can do my daily toast now. Come on. Uh, <laughs> now, I do the daily toast. You do your morning toast whenever we do it. All right, okay. so. Get uh, me. No, hold on. Get that water bottle because I'm drinking the Avion. I'll give you a little I'm bit. I'm drinking the Avion. You can drink this one. I'm drinking the big bottle. And you're drinking the little bottle. Okay? Uh, okay. Alright. So let's get it started, Facebook. Alright, so of course you know we start with our water. Water. The key to life. Key to life. Act second key. The first key is air, breath. Alright? I'm gonna put in mine. I'm gonna right. put in mine. Uh, 
That's why you gotta drink some water. My head hurts. What? We always start with the water because it makes you healthy and if you don't drink water, you're going to die. And I just want to tell you this. I'm going to get my own show called the Morning Toast. And I want to do my same toast as my dad. That's all. Hmm. I don't know what she said, but. Drink up that water, fam. Drink the water. Why don't you pull the cap off? I'm just turning my sugar. I'm just kidding. <sighs> so what you gonna do on your show, Sasha Marsh? Drink some of this ambrosia. Oh, you want to drink some of that ambrosia. All right, that ambrosia. And ambrosias. I'm going to get my little cup and do the daily morning toast. Mm. Then I'm going to drink some red ginger. That's tart cherry. Tart cherry. I'm gonna drink some red tart cherry. Oh. Uh, what if I ain't got no tart cherry? Miss <coughs> Jenny G and Miss Sasha Moss got another um, episode of the Jenny G Project coming out. Um, they went to a candy store now. Um, I'm bringing that up one to advertise <coughs> my daughter's work, but also to talk about this. So, those that's been following me, y'all know I've been. I made this. Hold on, I made this experimental mix. You gotta finish your water. Finish your water. Right, you did. All right, put a little bit more in there. You need a little bit more water because you ain't drinking enough water. <coughs> I need a uh, little bit. My experimental mix, y'all can see that right there, right? Experimental mm -hmm. mix, right? This is uh, turmeric, cinnamon, and ginger. So, I went to uh, the candy store with my daughters and let them film a video. And um, while oh, I was really? there, um, the guy there, he had bottles that looked like ambrosia. Actually, it looked like this one right here, yellow cap. And I said, well, what's that back there? He said, uh, that's sarsaparilla. So I went and sipped some of that sarsaparilla, and I said, oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm coming out with next month is I'm going to come out with, well, I ain't going to say next month. The next brew, I'm coming out with Giame with G&J root beer ambrosia, right? So because when you think about it, turmeric is a root, ginger is a root. I don't think cinnamon. Cinnamon is more like a bark. But it adds a nice little flavor, and then I'm throw some sarsaparilla in there, and we got us a nice mix. Also, um, one of my listeners um, or viewers, Miss Vern Love, hold on, Miss Vern Love, shouts out to her. She sent me some information about sarsaparilla as far as its cleansing possibilities. So we're gonna try some. Um, we're gonna here yeah, it's empty. We're gonna try some. Um, we're gonna try to make a jam and root beer. Right. That ambrosia root beer. Real I mean, because when you think about it, the name root beer tell you exactly what it is. So what you doing, Sasha? I'm showing them the what it says. Mm. Alright, so we about to do this toast. Mmm. toast. Mm-hmm. Just make sure you drink your water, fam. Just make sure, because if you don't look, look at my hands. 
Is it All right, so I'm gonna give her one. some of this experimental mix. Two each. Three each. I don't know if she's gonna be able to handle it because this is mature and it's been doing an aerobic process, not an anaerobic process, because it's been able to get a lot of air. I think that's the one that has honey in it. Yeah, well, all of them got honey in it. No, the, after mature, yeah, that's too much. Now, hold on. Someone joined in. Yeah. Peace to Mr. Tyrone Chandler. Long time no see, my brother. How are you doing? Good. I'm doing some Super Death Eater, which is also two other roots that I may add into the mix. You and this is very, very you. strong and helping the fits are off the charts. So, like a job. All right. So, first. We salute the hand, salute the creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator. We call on that great force, that force that gave us all life. We lift up our glasses to it and we say, Ashe! That's right. That's right. We say, Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We remember our grandmothers and our grandfathers and we toast them and we uplift them and we ask them to be with us on this day of Kaumba. Right, so we toast our personal ancestors. Make your list of your personal ancestors, your personal family pyramid, right? Do some research. Find out some of the stories of your people. Find out the 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 the, the jobs that you, you you come from, the people that how they worked and how they earned that money to make sure that you was able to exist, right? So that you could tell the stories to your kids. Right? Cold, cold, your hand is cold. Us, my hand is cold. I just got out of tub, cold water. All right. So we toast our personal ancestors. I'm running down my family line. If you have any family members that you want me to salute, feel free to type them up on the screen. I will toast them as well. So I'm starting off with Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robin and Texana Davis, Herman Brown Sr., Rosalie Tilly, Georgia Wooden Walter, Christopher Fanny Gatson. My fault, Chris and Fanny Gatson. Aunt Nina, Uncle Chris. <laughs> Uncle Chris. Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, Alvira Brown, um, Margaret Ellis, uh, Cecil Ellis, uh, Gina Gaines, um, Jamon Jones, Montague pittman -L, John Fillard, Dr. Marianne Williams, Pastor Yusef Weston, um, Elder Hairston. Elder yes. Farmer, Elder, Elder Donaldson. Donaldson. We salute all of our ancestors, right? We salute I have a Dr. Marianne Williams, Tony Clark. You have one? Hillary Clinton. Who? Hillary Clinton. Who is that? Uh, uh, the one on the news. Oh, okay. All right, so we salute our ancestors and we say... Ashe. Ashe. From there, we move on. To this present moment, we move on. The day is Kaumba. We toast Kaumba and we say, I say, I say, right? Somebody just gave you a thumbs up, Sasha, because that can't be for me. That got to be for you. Thank you for the thumbs up, whoever that was. All right, now, who are we going to toast? We're going to toast our Peacock. children. Oh, okay. Cleveland Brown, right? Uh -huh. Your great grandfather. We toast Cleveland Brown. You got any more ancestors? Uh, Morris Brown. Oh, God. Here we go. All right. I'm working with them, y'all. So now we toast this moment, which is Kaumba, this moment in which our power lies. We toast it and we say, Ashe. Ashe. That's right. Last but not my fault, we toast our children. Our children, children. Our children's children. On to infinity because everything we build. Everything we think, say, and do affects them. So we got to be very careful about the actions that we very, take. Very, very careful. Very careful. And we toast and we say, I say. I say. Now, from there, we toast you. We thank you for joining us. We ask the ancestors to go before you. We ask um, the, the universal powers, whatever you believe in, to bless you in all your steps. And with that, we say, what we say? I say. I say. Now, we wish you peace. 
and power and joy. Power. And joy in 100 years. In 100 years. Peace, power, joy. In 100 years. And we drink. And we go drink up. Strong man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You weren't ready for that. That's that mature. That's that grown. That's that grown person, Ambrosia. Are you recording yourself? You know we recording. <laughs> Too strong. Oh no. Miss Gina G. Ah, uh, man. All right, so I want to thank all those that joined us for the toast. And I'm going to go and do my, my show for uh, um, today. It's the sixth day of the, for me, I'm going back through the Goose Saba Challenge once again. This is the sixth day. The process is different. That one, that one's real strong. That one's stronger than the one you got. For the good. All right. So I'm doing, I'm on day six, and on this one, I'm fasting, right? So you know, day six is a 21-day challenge, right? Now, for those that take the 21-day challenge, you don't have to do the do it extreme as like I do. I'm extreme. I get, I get extreme with my stuff, right? Um, but today, on the topic that we're going to be covering, we're going to count covering the number system. Um, and we're going to talk about the numbers, Giami style. You need to stop doing stuff like that, Sasha. Dang. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so, you know what I'm saying? Now, one of the things that I that I do want to cover is that my brother Michael Cundiff um, sent me a, a post about men and platonic touch. You done? Yes. All right. Say peace. Peace, y'all. Uh, men in platonic touch and how men need to to be able uh, I got my damn shirt on backwards how men need to be able to to be um, how men need to have be able to have platonic touch you know even the warrior touch you know because we always got in some form of fashion they always push stuff back into their culture, right? Platonic touch, you know, like Plato and, and all that. I'm calling it the warrior touch, where we are able to embrace each other as men, right? Uh, or just be able to just touch without it going to going to extremes. And one of the things that I'm going to say, bros, if, if y'all don't have a group of brothers that you can hug, right? That you don't, you don't have a group of brothers that you can embrace, you know what I'm saying? You are hanging in the wrong circle, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, and all of them, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. In all all of the circles that 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 I have been blessed to run in, I'm able to embrace all of all of my brothers, right? You know what I'm saying? So that's not really an issue um, in single circle. You know what I'm saying? With my family in Simba Circle, that's not an issue with my family here in Columbus as far as the um, Afrocentric com Circle or the conscious community here. You know what I'm saying? That's not a, that's not an issue um, for a lot of us. But I know there's a lot of black men out there that don't have circles of individuals where you can receive that touch. And we got to understand this, man. They did a, a experiment with a monkey. I, they showed us to this. I don't even know what grade I was in. But they showed us this experiment where these, uh, where they had these monkeys, and they would separate the monkeys from their mothers, and they would um, take one monkey and have him receive milk from just a, a steel, just like a little steel thing where it was like a little screen, and through it it would be milk, and the child would be able to go and get the milk. And because the child wasn't able to really embrace, the child got sick and died. The little monkey got sick and died. But then they had another monkey where they would put it in and put a little soft fur on it. 
and the monkey, he didn't grow up in a proper fashion, but he did a lot better than the monkey who didn't, wasn't able to receive touch, right? And the, the point is, we have to be able to be in cultures and be in environments where we are able to be embraced, right? Not just mentally, but also physically, right? You know what I'm saying? That, you know, we, we need to know that our, our presence is welcome. We need to know that our presence is respected. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of ways that we do this is through touch, right? Um, um, personal relationships um, are often built off of the ability to touch. You know how close you are to somebody, whether or not you go and touch them. This is why when you walk into the boss's office, it's usually a desk between you and them, right? Because they're trying to let you know this relationship doesn't go beyond this professional level, Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to per post the article up and um, hopefully we get some discussion on it. You know what I'm saying? How do you feel about it? Right. I want to send shots out to Michael Allen Condo for sending it to me and um, I will share it on my timeline. But I'm about to go and get into um, the Giami number system. Once again, this is my day six. I want to thank those that took the time. To stop in and take a sip with me. I'm gonna finish my sip right now. I'm gonna finish. This is this is the super death eater, right? So now, those that like the death eater, right? Please understand when I give you super death eater. If you have it in a bottle, you need to finish the bottle because if not, it's going to be this stuff goes fast, right? So it goes through its transformation fast. And what I mean the transformation, it goes from sweet to a straight like vinegar type taste real quick so when you open it you got this you got to finish it you got to drink it if you drink it in like this you keep it refrigerated if you get a half gallons or gallons you need to keep it refrigerated now the vinegar vinegar piece is not bad for you um but with the vinegar how can i put it it takes a personal relationship a personal relationship with ginger, I mean with vinegar, to really appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? A strong man taste. <clears throat> Damn. Woo! Man, alright, so now, back to the root. Yeah. We're going to do, yeah, we about to come out with um, G&J's Root Beer Ambrosia. We're going to do it. So, Facebook, I want to thank y'all. I'm going to shut this down. You can catch the rebroadcast of this either on, on the timeline or, or you can catch it on YouTube. Follow us on YouTube. Now, those that want to keep up with me during... This fasting period, you know, my back is kind of messed up because of an um, accident I was in. But um, if you want to keep up with what I'm going through as far as the fast, because tomorrow at about 5, I will be transitioning from being able to drink juices. Because what I'm about to do right now, I'm about to go get my nephew, um, get the girls together. We're going to get my nephew. Um, I got to drop off some orders of the Ambrosia and I'm going to get me some juice because tomorrow, right, on Imani, my fault, I ain't got to do it on Imani, woo, thank God, all right, on Umoja, right, I will be moving to water and nothing, I'm doing nothing but water and that Ambrosia, right, for that next seven day period. Then after that seven day period, I'm doing nothing but water for the first four days and the last three days. That will be Nia, Kaumba, and Imani. I will be doing nothing. Right? So now, family, I need y'all to understand. Now, when you do them Goose Sabba Challenge, you don't have to go this extreme. Like, it's it's some major things that I, uh, I, I request that you do when you do the Goose Sabba Challenge. Like, taking notes on... Some of the things that you notice during the day, were you able to um, um, see the principle? Were you able to practice the principle, right? Um, I ask you to 
uh, have a proverb of focus for that day or for that week or whether you got a proverb that you're going to focus on that whole time because what I'm noticing is in this society we are quick to jump from one thing to another so I want us to kind of focus on some some of the subject matter like these proverbs that our ancestors left us man give us I call it crystallized wisdom but we got to take time with them right we got to in a sense touch them we got to embrace them we got to really work with them in order to get the lessons that's in there for us right to extract that gold to extract those jewels that's in it and 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 in this culture where we used to getting everything fast and moving fast um it don't happen so i want to challenge those people that are doing the gusaba challenge if you're not doing some of the other stuff at least do some of the mental lifting right so like for example i'm using either i use the giami journey workbook and i you go through that you get that i send a free copy of that out to everybody to sign up for the gusab Ch um, challenge and that's a book of proverbs and quotes um that you can go on and and do a, do your daily process go through and write down what it means to you I'm not looking for a meaning for me. I'm looking for the meaning for you because our ancestors left a message for all of us, right? And there's not one right message. You get what you get out of it, right? I also ask you to find a folktale of the day. I sent out a list of uh, um, uh, Aesop fables that people could go through. Um, you can look at it. Um, I aligned the Aesop fables with um, each each of the principles of the Nguza Saba. And you can find a proverb or you can find a folktale for a specific day. I'm eventually going to do the same thing with the proverbs. Then also I ask you to chart the lesson of the day. What was the major lesson in the day for you? When you had a challenge, what was the lesson? If it was a good day, why was it a good day? I want you to start charting that over this 21-day period so that you could go back and look over your notes and see where you were. Um, I ask people to participate in a daily toast. Every day, salute your own personal ancestors, right? Um, I throw out some information about cold showers and possibly implementing that, some type of workout or movement, and then also the warrior diet. Are you doing a warrior diet? You know what I'm saying? Are you doing the, um, the African heritage diet? I'm sending out information about that as well for everybody to sign up for the Nguza Saba Challenge. So go back up to the top of the timeline, go down, and you'll see that I have information about getting on the Gusab Challenge. And also, right, um, when you join the challenge, you get a nice discount on when you when you give to the journey, you get a nice discount on that ambrosia. Right? Now, because like when you give to us, I give to you. So, you know, it depends on how much you give, that depends on how many bottles you get, right? But when you do the Gusab Challenge, is a is a reduced amount uh, amount that you give to Giame so that we can make sure that you get that ambrosia. Um, also, we talk about intermittent fasting, right? Where you extend your fasting period. So rather than break having breakfast, because it's called break fast, breakfast, break breakfast, but it's break fast, right? Rather than having breakfast first thing in the morning, can you extend the period and give your body time to heal? Because this whole piece has is about transforming yourself. So like I said, we deal with the four, five, six, and seven. Now, for those who are trying to who are interested in the Goose Saba Challenge, but say, I don't think I could do that. Um, I got what I got, what I call on the second post I got is gum.co forward slash GNJ update. Will you keep up with me and see how I'm transitioning through this now i'm doing a more extreme version of the Nguza Saba challenge so i'm not only doing the, the the daily work but i'm also going to fast for the whole 21 day period right that's personal that's me you know, i'm not expecting that everybody i'm not even expecting you to do everything you know what i'm saying i'm just throwing out stuff out there because our answers say the best life is achieved by engagement with systematic process what I'm trying to help people do is establish a systematic process. Many of us are failing because we don't have the systems in our lives. We have systems running our lives, but we don't have systems in our lives.
let me say that again. We have systems running our lives, but we don't have systems in our lives. We have systems that have been imposed on us, but we haven't imposed any systems upon ourselves. I'm talking about we want to be free. All right, so yo, this is Brother Hot Tim talking to herself again because it's just there's nobody here. But I want to send shots out to Tyrone Challenger. I want to send shots out to whoever threw the thumb up for us. And there's a couple of y'all stopped in. So this is Brother Hot Tim, and I'm out.